As many of you remember, Harry Holt was the authoritative voice of West Texas agriculture for almost 70 years on radio and television. Every morning he told us where it had rained, why livestock prices were up or down, and everything else important to folks in the ag industry. And he made sure his audience knew about the West Texas Rehab Center, especially the Roundup for Rehab. He worked very hard every year to make Roundup a huge success. In 2004, we created the Harry Holt Award in his memory to recognize an individual who measures up to his example. The recipient is a person in agriculture or agriculture media who has promoted the Rehab Center and its mission, convinced others to support the Rehab Center, encouraged the next generation to get involved, and led by example by giving first and then encouraging others to give. Harry would agree that with us that these people deserve special recognition. Tonight we honor just such a person. Please watch this video about our 2022 Harry Holt Award winner. Our world is a fast changing ombre these days. With things going on, it'll cause your hair to stand on end. Makes me realize that this old world of ours needs some really good people to cross our paths. People to help us stay anchored in our souls, but moving forward in our lives. I'm talking about people that don't just care deeply, but also do something about it. Something to make the world, or at least their part of it, a better place. Oftentimes changing the very trajectory of the lives they touch for the better. If you haven't ever known someone like that, well, I'd like to tell you about someone exactly like that. His story is truly one that inspires others. It is a reminder that good old hard work, determination, and a willingness to take a risk can pay off in the end. Still can today. His name has become synonymous with cattle, ranching, quarter horse racing, and overall cowboying. If you don't believe me, just ask almost anyone in the cattle industry if they know the name Johnny Trotter, and you'll probably get a response like, of course I know that name. Born the son of a Methodist minister who moved all around West Texas, Johnny came to realize early on that he really only wanted to be one thing. He wanted to be a cowboy. While his father was leading a church in Abilene, Texas, he found out a friend of his dad's owned a horse. So as a preschooler, Johnny learned to ride. Not long after that, his daddy was assigned to the Methodist Church in Dumas, Texas, and you guessed it, Johnny got himself his own horse. Dumas, where ranching is a way of life, turned out to be a perfect spot for a young boy hoping to learn the ways of a cowboy. Before Johnny knew it, a friend of his dad's came along and said he needed Johnny and his horse to help feed cattle, and he even got to do some branding. He was definitely in his sweet spot. But as life goes for a minister's family, the trotters loaded up and moved to Hereford, Texas, right as Johnny was entering high school. As hard as that had to be for a teenage boy, there probably hasn't been a more fortuitous and prodigious event in a young man's life, Hereford, Texas, would soon become the very heart of the cattle feeding industry for the entire country. Johnny Trotter was in the future beef capital of the world, and little did he know he would one day become one of its leaders. From that point on, there was nothing but hard work and dedication that marked young Johnny's life. He did everything a cowboy could do, from day working after school and on weekends to caring for and doctoring cattle, Johnny did it all. Then another how shall I put it, serendipitous meeting occurred when he met Shirley Garrison. Shirley was the man who first partnered with Johnny in the 70s, and the two were partners when they bought Bar G Feed Yards in 1983, the one Johnny still owns today. Johnny is president and general manager of the operation, supervising the marketing of 200,000 to 250,000 fed cattle per year, along with 10,000 acres of wheat and 1,500 acres of corn used in the feed yard. Of course, this doesn't even include his love for and ownership of racehorses like One Famous Eagle and Bodacious Eagle, enjoying team roping at the highest level, his induction into the Halls of Fame for the American Quarter Horse Association, the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame, the Texas Horse Racing Hall of Fame, and the National Cattle Feeders Hall of Fame. 
He also owns ranches and cattle operations with partners like Herman Lloyd in Abilene and still others in Hattiesburg, San Marcos, Sabinal, Bryan, and throughout the Panhandle. He owns White Face Ford in Hereford, is on the holding company board of directors for First Financial Bank, is a director for First United Bank, and is a founding member of the Spicer Grip Memorial Roping in Hereford with proceeds going to the West Texas A&M University Ag Department. And if that isn't enough, during his spare time, he's a part owner in Rio Dosa Downs, as I said, Johnny Trotter is not afraid to work. Now you might think that that would be all you really need to know about this man, because by golly, that's a lot. My friends, if that's all you know, then you don't begin to know the true heart of Johnny Trotter. You see, when you get down to it, Johnny summed up his and his wife Jana's heart beautifully when he said, what I really want to be remembered for is being a Christian who wanted the right things done at the right time. The Lord has blessed me like you can't believe. And like my dad taught me, that's what it's all about. This is just a dress rehearsal. Whether it was establishing an endowment for scholarships to West Texas A&M University and helping with darn near every charity in Hereford or partnering with worthwhile nonprofits whose missions he and Jana believed in across Texas or sitting on boards of directors for both businesses and charities, the Trotters gave. They gave of their time and they gave of their treasure and they most certainly have had a genuine fondness and love for West Texas Rehab Center. This is what Johnny told me about the rehab. He said, Red, when Shelly Smith was running the rehab, he had the unique ability to pick out guys in different communities that could help with the Cattlemen's Roundup for Crippled Children, as it was called back then. A business partner of mine, Bud Thurber, was involved and got me involved. We'd go around and get guys from the community to donate the animals. As it evolved, Jana and I started donating finished beeves to the Abilene auction, sold them there, and then delivered the beeves to Eads Meats in Amarillo. It's turned into a pretty nice deal for everybody and has been really gratifying to me. That's why I like being involved. But later on, an old friend's daughter from San Angelo got hurt in a car wreck. And of course, the rehab was very instrumental in helping them that made it even more personal and special for me to help with the rehab, to kind of take the lead on it. I saw guys like Ken Murphy, Scott Deucer, Mike and Jim Alexander, Bob Morehouse, Herman Lloyd, all good friends of mine who had been involved for years. It's been a lot of fun to have a relationship that way. So I'd say it's a camaraderie type thing. Likes attract, and you want to be associated with people that share a common goal. It's a great cause that helps a lot of people and I'm proud to be a part of it and to be friends with Woody and now Steve and all the people that are associated with it. Well said, Johnny. You and I never know who might cross our paths, changing the very trajectory of our lives. We at West Texas Rehab are certainly grateful Johnny Trotter crossed ours. So Johnny, my dear friend, on behalf of all of us at West Texas Rehab and the countless patients you've helped, it is my great honor and overwhelming privilege to present you the 2022 Harry Holt Award. Johnny, it's, it's my personal pleasure on behalf of the West Texas Rehab Center to present this 2022 Harry Holt Award to you. You deserve every bit of it. Congratulations. We're proud of you and are proud of your association with the rest of the West Texas Rehab Center. Thank you so much. Thank you, Red. When we were listening to that video, I was kind of reminded of some of the funerals I've been to. I almost forgot about who we were talking about. <laughs> I just want to reiterate that, uh, that the reason I'm involved with West Texas Rehab is because of the association with peop the people that are associated with it, like yourself and like Bob Morehouse I mentioned earlier, and, and old Bud Thurber is one that really got me involved in it. But, uh, but you know, the, the main thing is I'd really like to, the, 
the thing that I do is the easy part. The thing I'd, I'd really rather do tonight is dedicate this to the people that work at this for the rehab and provide the service for the people that they do. Thank you, Johnny. You know, Johnny, thousands of patients in the 70 years of service to the rehab have benefited from your support of our telethon cattle auction.